Today, I'm gonna to be serving this beautiful lake behind me using a Phantom 4 RTK. The purpose of the survey is that we wanna measure the elevation at which the water is resting at. Throughout the season, the water levels will increase and decrease, and today we wanna to just make sure that the water levels are where they need to be for this point in the summer. I'll be using my GNSS receiver to be setting control points all around the lake, and then we'll be able to fly the drone and capture as much imagery as possible to generate a 3D model. All right, let's get started. All right, let's head into the woods. Okay, we'll set our first point right here. Okay, and this is going to be point number one. Good. All right, on to the next one. Okay, and I think it's a pretty open spot. We're gonna set our next point right here. Clean up here a little bit so that nothing gets in our way. Okay, and this is going to be point number two. Okay, good. All right, next point. All right, look at that open sky. This looks like a great spot for our next control point. All right, good. Time to head over to point number four. Okay, we're on the edge right here. I'm gonna set a point right in this spot. Okay, good. All right, we got one more point to set, and then we can start flying. Okay, and here we go, our last and final point. And measure. All right, that's it. We finished collecting data using our GNSS receiver. Now it's time to put this away and pull out our drone. All right, just before I set up my drone, I just want to show you guys how we walked around this entire lake. We've set a couple of ground control points just so that we are able to tie everything in and make sure that we validate all of our data. The water is nice, clear, and blue, and I think now it's time to get the drone up in the air. All right, we've set up our flight mission here, and now it's time to take off. There we go. That's it. Now let's go ahead and take all of this data, process it, and head into the office to look at the point clouds. All right, let's take a look at this data. Now I've gone ahead and processed all of the images into Pix4D-Matic, and I've generated an LAS point cloud. Now my client doesn't have any photogrammetry software, but they want to be able to view the point cloud so they can extract data and be able to find the elevation at which the water is at in different locations of the lake. And that's why I used scan.io to upload my point cloud into their platform in order to send a shareable link that anybody can open and view the point cloud. So let me show you a little 
little bit of what scanned can do and how to interact with the interface. And if I zoom out here, you can see I am projected on an aerial map of Metro Detroit. And if I zoom and tilt here, I can see that I am right over the lake. So that's a good check for me to know that my map is being projected in the correct spot. I'll go ahead and turn off the aerial map just so that I can look at my point cloud. Now this is a bit of a noisy point cloud because we were flying the drone over a large body of water. But nonetheless, all I really care about are the edges of the lake because I want to find the elevation at which the water rests. Now there's two ways to navigate in scan. The first is to have an orientation where wherever you click the entire point cloud will rotate and move with or you can use their superhero option which will literally zoom into wherever your mouse is. Now the datum that I'm using for this project is NAD83 Michigan South Zone and I'm using international feet for the units. However using scan I can easily switch between different projections and I can change between different coordinate systems and use different units as I please. So for example if I wanted to get the WGS84 lat long positions all I would have to do is select the coordinate system and change it to WGS84 and there it is the first option and then I can switch over to metric and I hit confirm and look at that now my coordinates are projected in latitude and longitude and everything is in meters and so my client or whoever has this link can change between coordinate systems change between units and get exactly what they're looking for without having to reprocess the data or having to shift the point cloud in any way everything is done automatically in scanned and it's very easy to switch between different coordinate systems I am going to switch back to state plane coordinates though so we'll go back to NAD83 Michigan South and I will use international feet now if you're not in one of the states that uses international feet you'll pick US Imperial which is for US survey feet all right we'll confirm and now everything is back to how it was before now I want to find the elevation at which the water rests so I'm going to use the annotation tool in order to find the positions of the water along the shores of the lake so I'm going to select the annotation tool and I'm going to annotate five different positions uh, one in the north one in the south uh, one in the east and two in the west so right here in the north and let's see here I will annotate right here all right now I'll come over to the east side of the project I'll select my next point right here now we'll come down to the south end right there is good and right here is the fifth point and now I can just press this little check mark and I will get elevations for all of these points so here it is point number one point number two three four and five and I can input a name for this so I'll just call this water levels and this is just an object of interest I'll hit next I can then upload an image or attach some additional documentation or I can even leave some comments about what I did um, I'll leave this empty for now but I could add information if I wanted to and then I'll just hit save and now we've got these points of interest I want to just show you what you can do with the images that you use to process the point cloud and how they are integrated into scan you can use them to inspect certain areas so for example right here in the water I see that there are some tubes coming out uh, maybe some pipes I'm not quite sure what I can do is get close and I can just open up the image viewer and then I could just select one of these pipes. So I'll just select this one right here. I will get the relevant images that are in the area and then I'll just select the image that I want to inspect. So this second image here looks pretty good. I'll pick that. The entire project will reorient itself to be in the same spot that the drone was when it took the image. I get a reference to which image this is and the latitude longitude position of the image. And there we go. I can zoom in and take a closer look at this image and see what exactly is in the point cloud based off of the raw imagery. I can switch over to the next image and the entire view will shift because that's where the drone took the image. And there's the other image and same thing here. I can zoom in and take a close look. I can see there's some algae that's growing on these pipes probably because there's exposure um, and I can do some inspection to that and include it in my report if the client wants it. Now if I zoom out here, I can see in yellow, these are the positions of the relevant images that we are looking at in the point cloud as I click on different areas, different images appear because those are the relevant images for that point on the point cloud. So yeah, very handy, very nice. And again, anybody can open this. You don't need a software on your computer. This is all on a web application with a shareable link. Right here, I can select the share sites button and then I can generate a link for anybody to then click on like you can by clicking the link in the description and play around with the point cloud using this link. Special thanks to Scanned for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to learn more about surveying with drones, then you're definitely going to want to watch this video right here.